guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Dudal Nature Lava. Today it's a great day, a new show, and I'm so happy and excited about it. I believe and I hope that you will enjoy and you will learn a lot. Before I introduce the show, I want to introduce my guest and my friend. Welcome, John. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm happy and uh, I'm humbled that you came. Yes. And let me give you a chance to introduce yourself. All right. Mm. Um, hello, everyone. Um, my name is John Boro, mm -hmm. and among many things that I'm known for, I do motivational talks. Mm -hmm. And thank you for having me on this show. I look forward to having a great time. Yes. Me too. Mm. And uh, I'm excited about this show. Uh, guys, as I told you, this is a new show. We'll be talking, or the name of the show, as you have seen in the beginning, it is After 30. This is uh, more about the singles who are beyond 30 years, 30 years and above. And we want to talk the challenges they do go through. Uh, we know, most of us, we know, this we do, they do go through some challenges, but they are under Chiniyamaji. Mm. They are not that spoken, mm -hmm. but they, there are some things that they really do go through. Mm. Like you see, there are expectations from the society, mm. from church, from mm -hmm. family, from yes. your friends. Mm. Most of your friends are settled. There is that pressure, pressure mm. from outside and pressure from within. True. How do we handle this? And how do we handle the whole thing that mm. it won't affect us mm. and it won't affect our lives, mm. especially in church, those who are in church. Mm. And that is, the, that is what we want to discuss. And we believe that by the end of this show, guys, you will not be the same again. You learn something and you'll be blessed. John Kalibu Sana. Asante. Uh, I want to hear from you whether you are in you are after that or mm -hmm. before I'm mm. aware you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um let me begin by saying that being age thirty years and above, mm -hmm. it's one of the best things that I have come to enjoy. Mm -hmm. I don't know how my life was before in terms of trying to describe so much of um, my experiences or so, mm. but I think what I have seen when I hit 30, is that 30 is a state where you become very intentional about what you want. Mm -hmm. And I think if there was to be anything that I would do now, I would even be more proud of it moving on. So of course I am past 30, and of course I'm enjoying every bit about it. Yes. So you don't feel that pressure is like uh, you were supposed to, uh, as you were growing, you didn't have that time limit that we had given you. Mm -hmm. You know, like for most, girls mm. they do give their uh, themselves time limit mm. that by 25 i want to be to be getting married yes by maybe 23 24 i graduate 25 mm. i get married 27 the first kid 29 the second kid by 30 i'm settled with my husband we are enjoying life so you didn't have such kind of a life that before that i want to be here and you are not yet there well um i and describe that in a very simple quote mm -hmm. that says that the greatest expectations makes the most frustrated men, you know. Mm -hmm. And for me, I learned to manage my expectations growing up because I also learned that life has its own twists and turns. Mm -hmm. And I must say um, in this show that it may not have rubbed well mm -hmm. with probably some of the ladies that I may have been exposed to before yeah. because of course there was a bias in terms of my interest and I really would say that um, I mean it was understandable to my extent mm -hmm. that I needed to really play my part of course um, it is quite a journey because I think with relationship they're experiential mm -hmm. and of course you're also exposed to people who come from diverse backgrounds yeah. so we have also had our own um, backgrounds in terms of coming up uh, from where we came up mm -hmm. and also our minds are conditioned in a particular way mm -hmm. so whereas some people may look at so many approaches of course you'll find people have different things that they look into mm -hmm. when they're looking at the people that they want to settle with and I think for me even apart from me wanting to look into somebody else, I had to start looking within myself yeah. first and exactly know the kind of a person I am, um, come to terms with myself. Because you see, with um, relationships that end up in marriage, that's a lifelong commitment. I think my major takeaway from those kind of experiences was the fact that I was dealing with human beings. So one of the mutual things that had to be there was respect. So the best thing I can say is that them who were in the picture and um you know we, we we had something together the people we still respect each other until today of course we can talk we can still reach out um some of them have children not one not two i know some of them have like four so i really wonder whether i'll be having four right now but the and thing is i'm happy 
and um, most of your age mates mm. they have moved on they have actually they are settled Already. with their families True. and do you know do you usually have challenges with women like for like for girls when we when you look like for girls who are above that age mm. most of them they do get challenges from married men because that the time that married men they are thinking ah this person is of age mm-hmm. she's now thinking about her future how will it be will mm. i get married will i have kids so they do try to take advantage of them mm. but um i don't that is from our side yes. but from men i mm-hmm. don't know whether they do get the same challenges whether they do have challenges with single ladies or with also married women mm-hmm. or with the younger girls mm. or with their age mates mm. which kind of well, challenges, challenges are there yeah. and of course they are pretty obvious mm. I'll describe it in different facets. Number one, mm-hmm. there could be people that we were age mates, yeah. men, and as we speak, of course, I know many of my age mates, as we speak, they are already married. They probably have, probably not one, but several kids, you know. And we normally have outings as, as men, you know, mm-hmm. we call ourselves boys, you know. Uh, so we have our own meetings where we meet with the boys in the boys' club. Mm-hmm. And the kind of stories you'll hear them speak about is, you know, um, like one of them will say, you know, my child is already in primary school, you know. I have learned that um, we cannot compete when it comes to destiny, sure, you sure, know, sure. because everybody has it's their personal. own journey. It's personal. Mm. So those challenges, I would experience them when you're meeting with boys. Mm-hmm. Number two, we are also human beings and yeah. of course we are likable, you know. Um, in one or another, somebody will look at you and they feel, wow, you know, you really look good. Mm. And of course, I've had... Also, that instances where ladies, of course, have complimented. But I think the more that I have learned to do is to respect them because it takes a lot of courage, you know. So you don't feel like, uh, you know, most of the people, they, when, when a girl does that, they feel like they are weak, I'm uh, desperate, yes. I'm a uh, lose. Yes. So in your case, it's, it's different. I will say it's not that I don't have that kind of thinking, probably yeah. even conclusion. Mm. The much that I do is to respect you know, but definitely as a man and from where I've grown up, mm. I know that it is a, it's no nikazia mwanaume, you know, going to chase, to chase. because the, the, the gist, the, the, hunters. The, the joy is in the chasing, you know. So if it comes out the other way around, yeah. of course, um, in my own way, and I'll use the word instincts, my instincts will tell me to start taking steps back, you know. And I, I know even beyond my case that there are people who have also had their own um, experiences where the lady approached the guy, mm. but what they did is that they built a friendship. You know, does it uh, does it affect the ego of a man? Definitely, it does. Mm-hmm. It does. You know, because um, it will get to a point the man will be asking himself, so why 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 wouldn't I be the one yeah. to take the step? You mm-hmm. know, you can imagine mm-hmm. that um, even when it comes to them already in marriages, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. somebody is married either a man or a woman, and of course they also want to look outside. You know, of course mm-hmm. those are stories that we hear every other yeah. day. I think. There, there are things that also happen that you may have no control over because if it's somebody approaching you, you're single and they're already married. Of course, you have no control over the fact that they'll be the one approaching you. What you have control over you're is actually reacting. how you're reacting, how yeah. you're responding. Yeah. And the much that I know, mm-hmm. even with them who are married, is that um, biblically speaking, is that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Yeah. And I think for me, mm-hmm. right now at 30, um, I'll be more focused. I'll be more keen because um i learned this that the highest level of demonstration of your wisdom is based on the spouse that you choose to stay with or to live Mm -hmm. with because even in relationships in marriages you don't get to choose to stay with that person because of the emotions and the feelings those things they come and die but it's also based on rather it's actually based on you making um, an informed decision and choosing to stick with that it's a decision that you have to make. Yes, it you is. You know, something I do see is, mm. and this is to all single people, if you respect other people's marriages, mm. God will provide and take care of you. As exactly. You. If you play with others, don't expect that things will be different. When so, someone is crying day and night because of you, hey, I don't even, you can't even want to imagine what can happen to you. Yes. Because our God is very faithful. And he's not a respecter of person. True. So the moment respect other people's marriages, 
and for sure god will provide and take care of you as true wow i'm really enjoying the the discussion yeah and something else i would like to ask you is mm. um what would you advise those who are at the year 20s mm -hmm. you know most of the people they do get married mm. and, and as per the society it's like that is their age that you are supposed to be settling yeah. down from yeah. 25 evo mm. what would you advise the ladies who are the year 20s the mm. men who are the year 20s yes. what would you tell them um depending on circumstances because again relationships are experiential mm -hmm. um as you get involved in whichever relationship based on whichever circumstance um one choose to be responsible because again you're dealing with human beings and a lot of people are hurting out there because of the hurtful experiences they went through so remember you're dealing with human beings so choose to be responsible and again i'll also tell them that especially for men uh, there is nothing as fulfilling mm -hmm. as being the head in terms of the relationship you're involved in so are you working are you doing something with yourself you know? are you building yourself are you building yourself yeah. because a woman will actually come to compliment you in whatever you do. Mm. So if you're doing nothing, what will she come to compliment you to do? But when you find as a man that you're having something to do with yourself, mm -hmm. that will also keep you going, you know, it will keep you moving. That you will not just now become um, a wishy-washy, a wishy kind of a man, mm -hmm. that you'll also be sitting down with your woman, with your wife, with your girlfriend, um, to discuss things also that are informed based on what you do. So for a man in your 20s, figure out whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I think also for the ladies, mm -hmm. um, don't just sit there, and wait. wait for somebody who has made it. I think there is nothing as enjoyable as building up something together yeah. with someone. And if not so, again, continue also doing something with yourself. Because I think this culture of... Um, Relying what can it do me a fair, you know, that and kind of relying thing, on a man. relying on a man, even Mamba whereas... Affair, Kunza, with this corona thing, <sighs> it's Elisha, crazy, it's I crazy. hope it, that was the end of it. I hope so know? too, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so um, ladies, at least get to do something because trust me, mm. it also gets to a place for a man. They'll also come and do, you know, um, a fact check. They'll do some reasoning and they'll ask themselves, okay, so this lady that I'm involved in, I mean, how responsible is she yeah. enough up to this far? Because if you also have some things that you're going to build towards, mm -hmm. if you have some things that you already have, mm. if I am not there by any chance, how will they be taken care of? Now, even beyond me and her, mm. me and him, mm. what about the children yeah. once they come? How will they be taken care of? You know, mm. those kind of things. Yeah. As you say, me, mm. I'm talking of responsibility yeah. because that really cuts across. So, and of course, everybody learning their place. Do you think that uh, men fear approaching ladies who are above 30? Mm -hmm. Because most of them, they are financially, they are stable. They know what they want in life. It's like they, they are not trying. They, they have matured enough to know this is what I want. Mm. They are very, their minds are very clear. Mm. Uh, does that affect men? Mm -hmm. Do they have, feel like they fear to approach them? Because it's like, you know, someone who knows what she wants. Mm. It's not like uh, someone who doesn't, who is not uh, mm. sure of mm. what she's looking for mm. in life. Mm. I think... Um, several answers for that. Number mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. the aspect of financial empowerment um, may not necessarily be reflective when it comes to relationship, that person becoming mature. Mm -hmm. So that could be one way to look at it. But of course, it could also be that somebody can be financially empowered, but they're also mature enough for relationship. That's why I said a relationship that is founded on friendship goes a long way. Mm -hmm. Because with you know, with a friend, and then you feel anything about it because mm -hmm. then it's a friend that you're relating with. So you have things that you're sharing about, mm -hmm. you have experiences that you're talking about, mm -hmm. probably things that you would even think through to. As a matter of fact, I want a best friend. I want a friend who we will talk, we will share, we will relate because I believe after you remove everything else, that friendship part, uh, part is very, very, very crucial. So for me, I really value friendship. Okay, something else. Uh, you, you know, like right now, with what is happening around about Corona and everything, mm. uh, most most of the times we are spending time in our houses yes. all alone. Mm. You know, for the ones who are settled, they are spending time with their families. Yes. They are having the best moment. Mm -hmm. like, but for, when it comes to singles, yes. 
you it's only you in your house you watch all the movies mm-hmm. you get tired mm-hmm. uh, as we know i don't mind is the devil's workshop yes. so this moment you are you are getting you, you are uh, most of the single people they are finding that they have a lot of time yes with themselves mm. and what do you do to keep yourself busy and mm. not to to allow that thing of I'm all alone, I'm mm. single, mm. not to mm. work you mm. out mm. or well, not to drain you. Um, being single is not a crime. For them who are married, mm. kuna wakati wanasemanga mm. that some of the moments that they enjoy most are when they are alone. So probably they want to imply that they wish that they would also have those moments where they will feel single. Mm-hmm. You know, of course the fact is they are married, mm. but even to them who are single, be productive, you know, because these times when you're going through this period of isolation, it is this time where somebody has to come to terms with themselves. And remember this, this is not the time to start wishing to get into relationship because the much that I can say about relationships, they are costly. They are not cheap. I mean, si kusamu unapeleka mtu date ama wherever, the fact is life is a constant expenditure. So when it comes to also relationships, being part of life, they are costly. They will still demand more. So ukisema unakimbilia mambo mwingine because you are single, because you are idle, because you wish that you know you had something productive to do. It means even as that other person comes into the picture, of course expenses will go high. So this is a time to be productive. This is a time to even enjoy more of your company. Um, you know, build, build up yourself. on yourself. Mm. If you are employed, start thinking about what else you can do. Mm. You know, um, if you're in business, look at how you can be creative also with the internet space because probably people are consuming more information over the internet and there is a lot you can do there's a lot a lot a lot so john as we as we wind up yes um, what would you tell the society the family members the church members that do pressure singles Mm -hmm. and the ones that they think just because you are of a 30 and still single, it's like you have a problem or it's like you are, there is an issue with you or you are so proud. Mm. What would you tell them? Um, I'll tell them that being single is not a crime. Mm-hmm. And even above that, there are people who are still single in their 40s and 50s, you know. Sure. Mm. I'll tell them that um, give somebody time, you know, mm-hmm. because just like it would be with a growing child that you will also allow them to grow let this person also get to a place where you know they'll be able to arrive to that decision by themselves um because that will also even demean them more because yeah. why would you want to help somebody to look for a spouse you know and uh, allow them to go through that process because biblically speaking even the word of God says that none will lack a mate, you know. Mm. But sometimes they, give, they they talk a lot of things, and you are like, as in me, I'm, uh, I have my own life. Exactly. Okay. It's only that you can't speak out, yeah. but you feel like just concern. I'm, I'm just concentrate on your life because me, I'm not asking about your marriage and everything. Exactly. So let me be. Mm. So that's what I think. That's what I should tell them. Yeah. Just be sensitive because some of these single people sometimes they are going through a lot, a lot, a lot. And the, it is not everyone who will come and speak out. True. Actually, this is what is happening with me, so stop asking me these questions. Sometimes they are going through a lot, but they are hiding True. in themselves. So just just let them be. Exactly. That's what I would like to tell them. Exactly. And I think the, the, the last or the almost last question I would like to, to ask you is, uh, at your age, you are where everyone is expecting mm-hmm. to hear about the big day okay or uh, about mm-hmm. introduction yes Ama, mm. to invite to yeah. and yeah. all that mm. so i would like to ask you are mm. you in a relationship or you are still in waiting um, you are still well at the moment where i am right now mm-hmm. i thank god because in my long quest in my long journey um on what i've been exposed to um it got to a place where I'm in a place I can say the person I have been able to get exposed to, I'm happy about about her. And it's a person who I'm willing to commit to want to spend the rest of my life with. And of course, praying so hard that, um, of course, things work out so well and in accordance to God's will. So um, if anything, if all the factors remain constant, I think my search is over. You know? oh. It is over. So yeah. guys, the search is over. If you had hopes, there is no hopes, <laughs> but 
just keep on trusting God, yeah. your time is coming. Mm. You know, he has been at that stage and now he is almost moving out. So even if even you, if you are there, know that God is able, he is faithful, and at the right time, he will bring the right person. Yes. So uh, I'm so happy, John, that you came. Thank you. Uh, I would like us to do like three marathon questions okay. uh, as we wind up. Okay. So the first question I would like to ask you is yes. um, the memory that makes you smile mm -hmm. alone in your lifetime. One or many. You can give so us many. one to three. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, growing up at the time where we would, I would take my younger brother, we would go to a swampy area to harvest um, um, mayai ducks, you know, the wild birds, you know. <laughs> and I remember um, I was the one carrying him on my back and sometimes on my shoulders as we would walk on water that was reaching my, you know, uh, my neck, you know, what? trying to get there. So, of course, I laugh about those moments. And you have clothes at that moment? <sighs> course I would remove all the clothes and shikia ukoju. So you can imagine me uh, in my Adam suit, you know. It was it was very funny. You know, another one was growing up also with my boys. I remember at one point used to go for a night vigil occasion and then um it got to a place where police were having a search within that area and that was Shag. Yes, it was in Shags. Mm. And um you know my friend saw the police first and then he dashed quickly. He ran. So he was a short guy. So we are walking it's at eight PM at night. We are three of us, but when I look around, you're only two. The next thing I hear are footprints running ahead. And then looking back, I see cops. So what do I do? You know, I followed quickly. And as I followed, um, when we did several twists and turns, you know, I would see him ahead. But when we did one of the other turns, I didn't see him. So little did I know that he had fallen inside a pit. You know, and when he fell inside the pit, he kept quiet. So everybody else came falling inside the pit. And nobody talked. <laughs> you know, it was rainy and we were all shiny and dressed up, you know. So I remember, I remember when he left the place, uh. of course, nobody was talking to the other. And those for me are some of the moments that I laugh about. Of course, there's so many. Yeah. There's so many of them. Yeah. Something else. Uh, the other question is, how do you recharge yourself as a single person? When you feel that moment, you feel you are down. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, you are lonely. You yes. feel you just feel you are yes. down. Yes. How do you recharge yourself? Two ways. One of them, I read books. Mm -hmm. The second thing, I do movies. I, I I can get lost in the world of movies. Oh, so either of the two. That's nice. Yes. So the, uh, you see how we are totally as in how mm -hmm. God 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 is very creative yes. actually because uh, He created us in totally different ways. True. Because like for me. If I do a nature walk, that heals me completely. Oh, okay. No matter what is happening, mm. that's a, a nature walk just, it's perfect for me. It does it for, for you, yeah, yeah. It does it for me. Sure. The final question I have for you is, yes. uh, what are you most proud of in your life? Well, the fact that um, when my mom passed, I stepped up and did whatever I would do for my siblings. Today, when I look at them, I'm a proud guy because they have really amounted it to something worthwhile you know mm. so i look at it and i'm like this this was necessary and um i'm happy that i was able to play a part so it's a, like uh already you have been a parent i would say so. it's not for your own children kids, yeah. yes yes so um, i thank god for that okay. yes mm. uh, i'm so happy that you came yes uh, i have enjoyed the interview yes. i have learned a lot from you i've mm. been encouraged yes and we thank god for that mm. uh, even for accepting to come yeah I, I thank God and I'm humbled and thanks so much. Yeah. So I would like you to look at the camera mm. and give your final words mm. to the to our viewers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, speaking like a single um, or somebody who's come from that point of being a single guy, even past 30, I can say that it is really not so much of something that one needs to feel bad about because um, life gets or we get exposed to life in so many ways and the fact is um the reality where you are probably you are not you know engaged to anyone you're not married or something so don't feel bad about it of course get productive in your own way in whichever area of life that you're involved in um of course you'll also become exposed to somebody that will be you know what um you get into settle with because again remember Marriages are not to be joked with, they're not to be played around with. So as you get to choose to settle with somebody, know that that will also be more of a lifelong commitment and there's no turning back. And as um, one of these conventional saying, it says that as black people, 
um, once you take a turn, there is no turning back. So if you choose to take a particular turn, there is no turning back. You have to pursue it to the extent that um, you know it's supposed to be through to the end. So as I told you again from the beginning, my name is John Mboro Njoroge, and um, on social media I am available. Um, you can search me in a very simple way at this is JM. This is JM. That is. J A Y E M. This is J M. And you have Thank not you so seen much. that girl and Aki. Well, um, you know a song. Of course. Is it a song or songs? Um, I initially introduced myself and said among many things that I do is motivational speaking, but you'll also find that I do music. Again, my YouTube channel at This is J M. On Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, This is J M. I'm also a man who is in business. Um, I'm in the e-commerce space. So I am trying to build up something around it. That's why I said, get busy, do something. Of course, um, that will keep you productive and moving on. And with that, um, thank you so much for hosting me in this amazing show. And of course, to anyone who is wishing to subscribe, to them who are out there, and of course, they get blessed by whatever is happening, get to click on the link below or even subscribe to the channel already because this is a conversation that is worth going. People need to share more and for you to also learn that you're not alone. How kopeke yako, you know? So God bless you so much. Um, from me, Nawashkuru Sana, of course, to our hosts, um, you can finish up. Thank you. Uh, thanks so much, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. I believe, it is not that I hope. I know you have been blessed with our show and keep it there. Every week we'll be having a different person. We'll be discussing these things uh we need to talk things out the the things that sometimes they are not spoken but they are there affecting us so we need to come out and speak them as we help each other thanks so much subscribe share and kindly comment say comment up or down what you think about the show something you think we can add you know this is our first show so we are running on the way bye guys god bless you